A spark lit up in their eyes. Their heads lifted, their nostrils flared, and they sniffed at the air. A scent wafted up each nostril, sending a shiver of thrill and excitement down all of their spines. Anticipation became the new sound of their mindless groans and raspy breaths. Slowly, they started to turn on their feet, rotating until they all faced one way. Forward they shambled, hunger and bloodlust evident in their eyes, their hands flexing with the anticipation of rending flesh from bone, their teeth gnashing with the desire to feel fresh, untainted meat in their jaws. As they walked, one of them let out a shriek, a terrible sound that they all heard. To them, it was motivating and brilliant. It sent a spark of desire through them all. Another joined in the shrieking, followed by another, and then another. Soon, all of them were shrieking, while those who could not, be it from missing vocal cords, damaged or missing heads, or some other injury, made their own sounds of approval. The shrieks roars, gurgles, and cries of the army were enough to scare away animals for miles. They knew not what these sounds meant beyond a terrible, dangerous omen of some kind. Although one did not flee, a lone raven flew overhead, a large crest of feathers coming out of its head and reaching back over its neck. It let out a single, quiet chirp of fear before it flew with purpose to the north, its eyes scanning hastily over the army, trying to get an accurate gauge on how many there were. Hundreds, if not thousands, and all of them were making their way through the mountains, mostly in the large valley, littered with rent earth and spires of dragon ice, going northeast. From the raven's vantage point on the air currents, you could see the destroyed city of Desrin in the distance, and the army was going straight for it. It lengthened its wings to give it more speed, and shot like an arrow through the air for its home. Hello, YouTube. Ski Dharma's here. Okay, so, in case you somehow did not notice, I honestly don't know how you would miss this, but, um, what you just heard was an excerpt from a story, and that story is a story that I am writing. In fact, it's a full-blown 50,000-plus word novel. <laughs> so, um, so Wings of Diamond Dust is its name, and, uh, that was an excerpt from one of the chapters of the story. I'm not going to get into much details behind the context of that scene or why it was even happening. I mostly put it there to gather interest and pique your interest, I guess. I guess I really shouldn't be saying that, but you know what? I'm new to this scene. Cut me a break. Now, um... <clears throat> so, here is the deal. Um, I started writing this story for National Novel Writing Month, which is uh, a program where... Aspiring writers can sit down and write a story over the course of November. And by the time November 30th comes up, if they started writing on the 1st, there were 1,667 words a day for every single day of November, they'll have 50,000 words, and they can just pump it out. So. Okay. Now. Mm. Ah. Burped something up. So. Wings of Diamond Dust is my uh, project on this month, and uh, that's probably why I haven't been doing much since this, because I've sort of been preparing myself and writing it, getting my feedback, editing the chapters as I write them, stuff like that. And, uh, well, it's... I'll tell you this right now. The abridged version of the rough draft is finished, and I know that probably makes no sense to a lot of you, so let me explain. I chose for my formula to simply take the gist of every chapter, just like in 1800 words or so, and cover the gist of every chapter that I had planned out. Just cover the gist, that's it. Now want, now, now that I have the gist covered, in about 1500 to 2300 words per chapter, in somewhere in that range, um, I'm going to go ahead, sit down with that with a friend of mine, 
and we're going to edit the tar out of it. And what I mean by that is we're going to lengthen every chapter to be probably about three to 4,000 words in length. We're going to extend conversations. We're going to add more to them. We're going to add more scenes. We're going to do more stuff with it just so that it's the appropriate length. Now, <clears throat> so for those of you wanting a synopsis of Wings of Diamond Dust, it basically revolves around a bard named Edgendalen going down to the southern city of Desrin in the fantasy kingdom of the Darche. Now he's going down to Desrin to learn the story behind a dragon attack that wiped the city out 12 years prior to the story's beginning. The city still stands, barely, with very few survivors. The Count and his court wizard and some of the royal staff survived, but the city has yet to be properly rebuilt and Edgen is trying to figure out the truth behind the dragon attack and the wizard who supposedly killed it. So, so that's roughly the gist of the uh, story. So, there's not much else to it beyond that. So, I think I've covered just about everything I need to cover in this uh, update. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the recording here and start looking over my uh, story and start getting it ready for lengthening and editing and updating and expanding. So, uh, One final thing. I did move into a new house with my family. You know, I just turned 18 this October, October 23rd to be exact, so not all that long ago. Um, I have a new laptop from the birthday. And uh, we moved into this house in September, and part of the reason why I didn't do anything for a long while in September, or recently at all, is because the computer besides this laptop that I'm using right here started to, well, that, the computer besides this laptop started to fuck up. It flat out died, and we had to buy a new one, and now that one's not working right, at least not 100% right with my software, so that's causing problems. So, uh, all that is well and good. I have been talking for 4 minutes and 45 seconds as of 2 seconds ago, so yes, I know. Absolutely crazy I am. Now, I am done talking. I do not want to ramble, so bye. <laughs>